Hi, I'm the lead developer of Kite and I'm going to show you how to use air gapped transactions in Kite. And air gapped transactions are transactions you create and sign offline and then transmit to a device that's actually online uh, to uh, send a transaction to the XRP ledger. And this way you keep your private key completely safe. You only enter your private key in an offline environment uh, and you can just purge the browser history after using the offline environment. So I'm going to open a private browser window. I'm going to visit kiteapp.co and I'm going to add my wallet in read-only mode. So I'm going, just, I'm going to add just the uh, public key, the wallet address. So here we are. And I'm checking the transaction history. Last transaction is uh, from, well, about half an hour ago. And I'm going to send one more XRP to this address. And of course I can't because uh, Kai doesn't know the secret of this wallet. But when we go offline, we can enter one. And in this case, I'm going to enter the secret key from a piece of paper using QR code. Uh, so here we are, and I'm skipping the destination tag, and I'm sending one XRP with a transaction fee slightly higher than usual to get things processed really, really fast. And I'm going to create the signed transaction. Here we are. So let's copy the signed transaction and close the private browser window. That's it. So now I'm going to visit a guide over here and I'm going to add oh, right we're offline so let's go online there we are and I'm going to add uh, the destination wallet read only over here as well so this is the QR code with the wallet address read only great and I'm going to check the transaction history and here we are. So the last transaction was the same transaction the other wallet sent, two and a half XRP, half an hour ago. And now I'm going to open Safari, just for the demonstration, and I'm going to visit Kitehub over here as well. And now I'm going to send an air grab transaction. So I'm pasting the transaction we generated in the private window in Chrome. I'm going to submit it and then within a few seconds the transaction will be processed and you will see the transaction appear over here. So here we go. And there we are. And here it is.